Welcome and thanks for joining Deakin's Open Day. My name is Peter Eklund. I'm one of the professors in the School of Information Technology and I'll be the MC for today's presentation. We'll be hosting a live Q&A session straight after this presentation to answer any questions you have. In the meanwhile, it's my pleasure to introduce you to my friend and colleague, Dr. Wei Lu, who will talk to you about the Bachelor of Artificial Intelligence. Over to you, Wei. Thanks, Peter. Um, very happy to be here. Welcome everyone to our course uh, information session. Um, the course for Bachelor of AI is a new course at the Deakin. Uh, I'm the course director for that course. Okay. So here's the outline of today's talk. First, I will talk about what is machine intelligence? And um, um, then we talk about why do we need to study? Why is worth studying uh, artificial intelligence? And then we'll move on to see how degree of AI looks like. And finally, Peter will talk about why it's a good idea to study AI at a Deakin. So what is machine intelligence? Uh, machine intelligence automate the tasks that uh, you perform daily uh, by human. And some of the high profile examples including uh, self-driving cars, you know, in China, there are self-driving buses as well. And uh, also some of the more common uh, applications, for example, series on your phone, Alexa by uh, Amazon, and those are uh, intelligent chat box. Underneath, it's also artificial intelligence driving the um, application. And also when you use Gmail, you may notice that you can use uh, or, um, suggested reply. Those are called virtual assistants. That's also um, driven by artificial intelligence. And even you are not doing um, technology and for artists lots of artists right now are using artificial intelligence to help them generate um, artistic creation for example um, they can use the uh, artificial intelligence to generate paintings uh, that's also uh, an interesting application of machine intelligence so you can see machine intelligence in it's almost in every and walks of life right now. Just to be clear, I think it's best that we, um, for pro pro prospective students and their parents to understand in plain language of AI. Uh, I want to adjust the question, what is artificial intelligence? To the, the public understanding of artificial intelligence, it's a, conditioned by the popular culture such as Terminators or uh, Westward or Ex Machina, generally intelligent uh, robots that look like human um, and think like human. This fantasy sets like a, a standard of what AI can do, um, but what's the AI we talk about in 2020? So here I'll talk about more uh, realistic AI application. Just imagine you are a courier that need to deliver your goods to um, 30 um, spots during a day. So nowadays you know that you can use Google map. Uh, although we take Google map for granted, but you think about it underneath, there's a lot of complex technology because first Google map need to plan the best routes um, that you th that's most uh, time efficient and fuel efficient and also it's need to predict the traffic conditions which is very dynamic during the day for example it's need to pre pre need to know that during the school pick drop off or pickup the traffic can be um, worse at the school zone so it can plan a routes alternate alternate routes that uh, uh, circumvent the school zone. So underneath it's very complex technology. 
and um, you need artificial intelligence to plan it for you. So for some other AI applications, um, a lot of big banks use AI to detect credit card fraud. Uh, you can see if you purchase uh, something that you don't normally purchase uh, in a foreign country, if you go to a tourist destination, you make a purchase. Um, if it's go, it's, this is not what you do every day. You may get a phone call from the bank telling you, you whether you have made the purchase. That's uh, artificial intelligence uh, doing the work there. And also, um, Artificial intelligence can be used for to, to detect some sentiments in tweets. That's a lot of company used to uh, detect whether their customers are, um, have complaint about their products. And in medicine, uh, artificial intelligence has been widely used to develop new drugs. And uh, a drug that need to be developed in a uh, cycle of 15 years right now can be greatly shortened. Uh, the time can be greatly shortened by using artificial intelligence. Um, the last example is the face recognition. If you go through the border, you will notice that nowadays it's, uh, it's much quicker because we use the smart gate technology, which can recognize your face uh, automatically and, um, and speed up the um, process of going through the international border border. Okay, next, Peter will tell us uh, why do you want to study AI? Thanks, Wei. Now, AI might seem like an abstract idea, the subject matter uh, of dozens of films and books, but it's uh, a skill actually in high demand. According to a study by a professional networking site, LinkedIn, an artificial intelligence specialist is the number one emerging job in Australia. Moreover, AI features in several other of um, the top 10 emerging jobs in Australia. So that's uh, AI spe specialist in this list. Uh, cyber security specialist is also uh, relates to AI. Uh, marketing automation specialist and data engineer. All of those jobs uh, relate in some way, shape or form to the study of AI. Okay, so um, now I'm gonna to return to Wei to answer the question of what does a, an AI degree at Deakin look like? What sort of subjects and topics will you study if you, if you enroll in a Bachelor of AI degree at Deakin? Over to you, Wei. Thanks, Peter. So, the uh, AI degree at Deakin is a three-year program. So we, it's a certain, um, it consists of uh, um, several building blocks, um, including the mathematics the programming and the artificial intelligence courses themselves. So first, in the first year, you will uh, study several core foundational units covering um, foundational knowledge in mathematics and the programming. Then you will have a solid uh, foundation in programming yourself. You will be learning um, different programming paradigms and you will also learn in year three, you will learn advanced software architecture. And mathematics is a very important part of artificial intelligence, where we train you to have a solid foundation in uh, core mathematic subject, including linear algebra and um, um, optimization. And finally, of course, you will learn AI specific um, subjects including um, uh, three artificial intelligence units. And um, you will learn deep learning, you will learn uh, data science. And also we have a 
put a lot of emphasis on work integrated learning and uh, you will have opportunity to inf get involved into real real life uh, project real work project very early on and and uh, by the end of year two or beginning of year three you have a chance to do a uh, it placement in a ai related uh, uh, company and finally there's a capstone units actually it's a two two grad units and uh, where you have uh, you will be working in a team to accomplish a, um, a project in AI related projects. So here are some entry requirements for a Bachelor of AI. So we have a two of the courses offered in both Burwood and Cloud and um, um, you can see the ent the ETA score as shown here is slightly higher than the uh, um, Bachelor of Information Technology course. So the I want to draw your attention to the uh, mass requirements for entering Bachelor of AI. You need to have um, uh, studied mathematical methods or specialist mathematics. Now I will give it back to Peter to talk about what's the what the benefit to starting AI at a Deakin. Peter. Thanks, Wei. So uh, Deakin has been ranked the number one university in Victoria for student satisfaction ten years in a row, um, and uh, we really pride ourselves on that that track record. But there are other good reasons to study with us as well. One of those is the trimester system that we operate. So you should consider all the factors that take up your time when planning your studies and the benefit of flexibility to balance work and, and family life. Deakin offers three trimesters and this trimester structure gives our students much more flexibility to study full or part-time to suit the circumstances of family and work demands. Deakin is also number one for online study in Australia and, has one of, and was one of the first universities in online learning. Currently about a thousand students in the School of Information Technology study in our cloud, cloud campus, that is, to say, that is to say they study online. Now, even though a lot of our students are online, it's still the case that two thirds of our students study on campus. Perhaps not this uh, tri trimester, but certainly we hope that they will be on campus in the future. And understandably for many of us, the on-campus experience is a, a kind of rite of passage um, described by many uh, uh, former students as the best time in their, in their life. Now, in addition to everything that campus has to offer, entertainment, cafes, restaurants, student life, uh, we also have some award-winning learning spaces and facilities. Notable among these is our award-winning robotics and internet of things lab, the so-called riot lab um, and the discovery lab at Greenwood Park, which I'll talk a little bit more about in a moment. So um, Wei mentioned the, the 65 ATAR and um, it's important to emphasize that there are many different pathways to get into courses at Deakin, not just ATAR. In fact, probably a minority of students come in on the VCE ATAR um, as published. Uh, another entry pathway is through Deakin College, uh, Diploma of Information Technology, and there are pathways through uh, from TAFE study as well. So uh, don't be disheartened by uh, the, the ATAR, the ways, ways talk to us about. Now, um, it's also the case that uh, the Bachelor of AI, as with many of the other courses that we offer, has a number of elective units. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, Way, for the four elective units in the Bachelor of AI? That's correct. That's correct. So four units of study uh, is equivalent to a full uh, trimester of study. And this means that this gives possibility 
to um, uh, studying um, overseas, studying abroad, um, doing a, a kind of exchange uh, arrangement with one of our partner universities around the world, uh, where you, you go and you study. Those are four elective units for uh, a, a semester overseas, and then you come back and you get advanced standing for those as, as the four electives in your course. So, um, yeah, so many of our students have taken advantage of this and studied in the US and the UK, Europe, uh, in China, in Japan, um, all around. And uh, it's, a really, it's a really good feature of, of our courses. So, preparing our students for industry is an important aspect of the education at Deakin. We spoke earlier about our award-winning Discovery Lab at Greenwood Park near the Burwood campus. It's one tram stop further east from the main campus. The Capstone Project experience and the way that we extensively resource it is for us a key competitive advantage of Deakin and key to our 10 year run as the number one university in Victoria for student experience. All our courses require two Capstone units in their final year. The Discovery Lab is where students come together as a team to solve a real world problem for an external client. This is a key transitional phase of our education program and a realistic rehearsal for working life to come. In the same vein as the capstone units, work integrated learning is a feature of all Deakin courses and it prepares our students for working life. There are two types of work integrated learning the first where our students spend 100 hours in approved host company, and the other where our students spend three, six, or even 12 months in a paid internship, which we call industry-based learning. I'd like to draw your attention to other scholarships and grants. There's the Ignited Scholarship, um, which has been created to ignite women's interest in areas uh, traditionally dominated by men, including engineering, information technology, and construction manif uh, management. Um, and that's a, a $5,000 a year um, scholarship. We have the Bow and Water Scholarships offered to students commencing a degree in engineering, uh, environmental sciences, commerce, finance, inf information technology, public relations, journalism, or human resource management. And the benefit of this scholarship is up to 2000 a year uh, of the standard course duration, uh, three or four years, depending upon uh, the, uh, the course that you choose. There's also a Bowen Water Scholarship for women in, women in STEM offered to female students commencing a degree in the Faculty of Science, Engineering or the built environment of which the School of Information Technology is a part. So at this point, uh, we've completed our presentation on the Bachelor of AI degree, uh, and Wei and I are here to answer any questions in the Q&A that you may have, um, and uh, we're standing by to answer those questions. So thank you very much all for listening. Thank you very much, Wei. Thank you, Peter. Thank you, everyone. And we opened the floor to questions from uh, the audience.